The Samuel Bannum Mission Indians launched the first channel in the U.S. dedicated to Native American culture. Reporter Liberty Savala takes us to San Bernardino for a behind-the-scenes look. In five, four, three, two. These days, you can get a TV channel dedicated to Native American and indigenous people. I don't think we've ever had a chance to speak like this before. That's where FNX comes in. General Manager Larry Ciccoloni came up with the idea after talking to the San Manuel Chairman, James Ramos, about how the tribe contributes to society. I said, well, James, there's your problem right there. I said, nobody knows you're doing that. I said, you know, we need to, to be able to, to get that information out to people, to know what the tribes are doing, to know the history, to know um, what they mean to this country. The channel received positive feedback. Having access to these stories has already changed how they view not only Native Americans, but, but, but themselves. In addition to a television station, KVCR, the parent company of FNX, also has a radio station. This room is used for voiceovers that can often be heard in FNX stories. I have been to the end of the water. Coming from San Manuel, and being the first nation to bring this type of a platform and have us actually have our own speaking role, I, I am shaking. It, it, it's something that it, it's rare. It's very rare. And it's, it's an opportunity that, that cannot be missed. It means a lot to you. It means more than a lot to me, yeah. In San Bernardino, Liberty Zabala, Valley View News.